Happy Monday, everyone. So a big travel day today and tomorrow. And for the most part, the weather should be fairly nice. Now we do have some scattered showers possible out there. You can see the green on the screen right here. Bit of a low pressure trough right now, but that's continuing to move out. We'll touch on that in a second. But as it moves out, let's go over the next couple of days very quickly going into Tuesday. You can see the next front is trying to form out there, but essentially it's not all that strong. Not like what we saw last week and over the weekend. We do have some rain, some precipitation out there, some colder air moving in, but it's just not all that strong. So as we go later Tuesday into Wednesday, Christmas Day itself, most of those shower chances start to break apart, even though we do have the low just out off of the coast there. So Wednesday morning, Christmas morning, some potential of some showers coming around, and we also have that potential of some colder air. So up in the mountains, around the valleys, for example, up in the mountains, seeing the potential of a little bit of snow, but the rest of us just seeing a chance of showers or two if they even make it to the ground in areas like the Rogue Valley, like the Illinois Valley. Keep on going through the week. By Saturday, really Thursday, Friday, and and Saturday, mostly dry conditions. But we do have another round of rain possible as we get closer to about Sunday. So we'll keep an eye on that, see if it develops a little bit better, moves further to the south. But for right now, looks like it's going to cut off to the north of us, keeping us dry for most of Saturday and a good part of Sunday. Here's the satellite radar. Most of the activity is staying off to the north of us. We do have a low there just around the border of Oregon and Washington. That will continue to move east, should stay dry for the course of the day today into Tuesday. And then that next system starts to approach later Tuesday day into early Wednesday morning, bringing us that chance of showers. If it's cold enough and wet enough at the same time, could see some snow at slightly lower elevations could involve the passes. But again, not the strongest system. Most of us not traveling on actual Christmas Day should be fine in terms of travel conditions over the next couple of days. Still want to be careful over the mountains. Diamond Lake area, for example, potential is still some packed snow out there. So we'll go through the day today in the pinpoint forecast, mostly dry conditions, maybe a few scattered showers from time to time, but nothing too unusual. This is 4 p.m. Yeah. Should lead to a very nice sunset later tonight into tomorrow. Looking beautiful through a good part of Tuesday, and then we do get closer with that front moving on through later in the day Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, if it's cold enough again, that potential of snow right now looking like mainly over the higher elevations, the valleys avoiding it, long I-5 avoiding most of that snow chance, but it does come through at times early on Wednesday morning very quickly. So most of us waking up Wednesday morning, Christmas Day, probably just looking at a little bit of a potential of some more snow snow up at those higher elevations around the valleys. Could be a nice picture. Checking out the coast for today, there's that chance of showers early, but otherwise cloudy and clearing in the afternoon. Temperatures right around 50 degrees. A lot cooler in the West Valleys compared to the last couple of days. Mostly cloudy, then sunny. Some sunshine, not bad. And then mostly clear later tonight. Fog does return after midnight into Tuesday morning. And east of the Cascades, partly cloudy, then eventually clearing. Temperatures in about the mid-30s. Not a big swing in temperatures overall today. For the Rogue Valley, your seven-day forecast, outside of that chance later, Late Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. It is mostly a dry week ahead. It's about Sunday where we see that next best chance for showers, slowly warming up towards about Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. For the Klamath Basin, that's the trend as well. You are colder though, so more of a chance of snow as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Northern California, a bit of a mix of rain and snow Tuesday into Wednesday morning. We'll stay mostly dry Thursday and Friday before another chance towards the weekend. And out on the coast, a chance of showers today. Not a great chance. Temperatures mainly hovering around 50 degrees for the week ahead. Tuesday and Wednesday bringing a chance of showers, winds not as breezy as what we saw last week.